Change. Okay. Hey, it's Matthew from the Mini Wargaming Forge. We're here with James. Say hey, hi, James. Hello. And we got Adam from Greenleaf Terrain. Hello. So uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video because Adam's about to take all these tiles and I just wanted to show the super dense, maybe a little too dense table that James has set up here. But we've been printing off all these tiles from Wargame Forge, which is super cool. Like, we should get these on the website at miniwargamingforge.com so people can buy them. STLs and printed. All these buildings, they can already go on our site and buy the STLs or pre-printed, whichever you prefer. And we're working on some Hagelthorn terrain too, but we'll look at that later. So I thought I should do a quick video before Adam takes all these tiles uh, that look like children's toys right now. <laughs> but essentially there is a modular tile system. And you can kind of see how it works, that there's roads, like uh, there's wide roads, there's less wide roads, and then intersections that connect them all. So we're able to make a really cool table. So there's no mat required because you just have this to go with the awesome stuff that we already have. And then you get these raised sections as well which I think looks super dope, so that you can have different levels to it. So eventually we'll get a lot of those printed. And what you, what I want to do with this kind of stuff is have like a regular mat with some hills and trees and stuff, but then like in the corner you have the beginning of a, of a urban area or something like that. So you have a lot of variety in what you can do. This one right here is not Wargame Forge. That's actually War Scenery. We don't sell those on our site, um, not yet. But if you go to miniwargaming.com slash war scenery, you can buy the STLs there. So yeah, took a while to print all of this, obviously. The tiles actually print up really fast. Um, it's like an hour and a half, I think, maybe? Hour and a half on the bamboos. Yes. So um, probably more like three hours on most printers if you don't have the bamboo labs. Or I know like the new Prusas, the Mark IVs, if you get the uh, input shaping, they'll go pretty fast as well. So, so yeah, so lots of cool stuff there. Um, I don't know if there's much else to say, other. Over here, we're working on Hagelthorns. This is from Printable Scenery. It's really cool fantasy terrain. It's almost like a little bit more cartoonish, I would say, which is really neat. Um, so we're just printing that up, getting that ready to put on our site. We're actually going to be selling lots of Printable Scenery stuff on our site. Um, the printed, not the STLs. You have to go to their site for that, miniwargaming.com slash printable for that. And uh, Adam has been starting to, well, not starting to, he's been making terrain and painting it for a long time. So what's your Facebook again? Facebook.com slash Greenleaf Terrain? Yep, that's it. Is there any dots in there? Or is I don't it, think so. If you go to Facebook.com slash Greenleaf Terrain, you can see the project that he does. If you follow him, then he'll often post, you know, his little sales or other stuff too of things that he's working on. So I know you've been working on some ruins from printable scenery. Yep. So I'm about to give Adam all of this to paint because James has too much work and we need to hire an assistant for the assistant. The assistant to the assistant. James Jr.? To the... Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get an assistant for him, and then we'll have, like... We'll go all the way down until we have, like, five-year-olds helping in the back there, right? <laughs> it's just, it's just keep going, right? I'll get my kids in here. There you, oh, here you go. I solved it. Oh, shoot. They started school today, so... We missed that one. No sweatshop here. To this. We'll, we'll wait till after school is done. Yeah. So, so, yeah. And uh, really quickly, because um, James has already painted some of these. Give us a 30 second tutorial on how you painted these uh, tiles. Okay. They're, they're... Oh, <laughs> dude, look what you... <laughs> Holy... <laughs> it's all right, he painted these. So. Yeah, um, it's it's pretty simple. They're just uh, primed black, and then I used, I think it's Stonewall Gray. Having a hard time there? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. They're very durable, as you can see. Yeah. It's Stonewall Gray, and it just sort of kind of fades into... Uh, just a, like a less of stonewall gray in the center, and then it's stronger on the outside. So it's like a, a gradient from like 100 to not quite zero, let's say 50 to the middle, and then it's sponged with a, uh, a black and a brown, and it's uh, just really washed really quick with uh, just a black wash. Yeah, to get into all the, the, the yeah. crevices and stuff. And you have it so that the outside is all the same color, so that yeah. no matter which way you put it and... and so and, when you uh, put the tiles together, they The they colors match, match yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, if you paint them together, then you have to put them in that order. Otherwise, the colors start to look really weird. You can see it uh, a little bit better here. It's very... Yeah, the gradient. Start here, and then it fades into sort of black. Yeah. On the inside. Awesome. Obviously, you can do a lot of other stuff, too, like adding foliage and stuff to really green it up. We're looking at... For sure. we, we've, uh, James has actually been working on making some bases for eight millimeter 3D, or like 3D printed ones. So eventually we'll finalize those and get them onto the site as well. 
So fun stuff there. Well, anyways, it's just a quick forage update. So um, sorry I haven't posted in the past week. It's been hectic. And then we had a holiday yesterday as well. So I'm going to try to post more often just the stuff that's going on. And then we'll get back to tutorials once we have the time for that. All right, Adam, get painting. I will. James, get back to work. Okay. <laughs> Happy 3D printing.